This is the um, eye mortar hub um, in the wheel that it comes in with a Kenda tire and also the controller. Actually, this part will fit on the um, handlebar and uh, that's your throttle there. This is the on-off switch. You can see the lights go on and off as you play with the, the button. And I just have it loosely mounted uh, in the, uh, the Trex um, front fork. Uh, it's not bolted in, uh, so this is just kind of a demonstration of uh, how it might work. Uh, you can see that it's got the um, disc brake, a rotor on this side, this bike. Um, the Trex bike doesn't have a disc brake system, and in fact the uh, Caliper brake is a little wide, so I've just taken that off for demonstration purposes. It's actually a pretty nice system um, where the battery is incorporated, battery and controller actually, are incorporated right into the hub, and you can pop the battery out. I get the latching here correct fairly easily. There we go. Um, it's, uh, not not bolted in here, so it makes it a little wiggly. But you can pop it out, and then you can pop it back in fairly easily. And you can charge it either here, or you can charge it uh, in the um, internal connections, which is what I've been doing. One issue um, that I've had is uh, with the software. Uh, so the app that you can download uh, by uh, scanning in the QR um, tag and uh, it's in Chinese and my Samsung um, device doesn't translate that into English apparently uh, in some cases it does but I've gotten a whole bunch of uh, video games um, uh, music videos that sort of thing instead of anything that even looks like an app so that's a problem but fortunately you don't really need the uh, the app on your phone to make this work, uh, at least if you want to run it at uh, one speed only. It comes in three different speeds. But, um, I'll demonstrate it here. If you um, turn on the system and then play with the throttle, nothing happens uh, until um, you spin it um, and get up to, well, actually it won't work now because uh, we're too slow. But if you go faster, it'll pick right up, and you can see it's torquing a little bit. Uh, um, I probably need a, uh, a torque arm on there, and uh, that might be a useful addition, which is not included in the kit. But uh, you can see uh, that uh, you know the throttle works pretty well. You've got to get it above uh, 5 kilometers an hour, so that's about 3 miles per hour uh, on a roll. But that's a pretty easy thing to do, even if you just... Uh, kick pushing the bike and I probably will have this on a different uh, fork and a different uh, bike system later on. So it works pretty good.